sort of realize he wanted to become a politician? 14 or 15? <laughs> My dad spoke, I mean, we, ne we didn't really talk about football or comics or movies. Rather, we would be talking about history and religion and politics. Students is always something that is important because they form, you know, these are people who are at the sort of entry level into politics. That was how I got involved. I was involved as an A-level student. Uh, that was how uh, Rafizi wrote me in uh, into politics in 2001, 2002. He is in standard one. Uh, he is a real only kid, so he is quite spoiled. Yeah. There was another time when I thought I would get arrested. Uh, I was arrested, but I wasn't locked up. Uh, it was just for a few hours in the night. The police came. Uh, they were circling my house and all that. So when I heard that they were coming, I, I finished eating, uh, I, we, we did some crab curry or something which was quite nice. So uh, I said, okay, I want to finish you know, all this nice food before I go in. He asked, ask, you know, is this a nice police or is this, is this the bad police? But I said, you know, they, they, they are following instructions. It's not that they are bad or good, you know. And I think Setia Wangsa is very special because it's a seat with, uh, that BN has never lost in KL um, and where they have 14,000 military voters and 3,000 police voters. I did work in Setia Wangsa for three years. So when I first went down there, people didn't know me, people were scared. I get 20, 30 people to an event and that's considered good. You know, so it's very different. Uh, I mean, if you tell me then I would win with 14,000 majority, you know, I, I wouldn't believe it. We must make politics, uh, political education, uh, civic education, uh, part of the process in the campuses. Um, it cannot be seen as something alien to them. At the same time, I think things like uh, lowering the voting age to 18 years old, automatic uh, registration, this will all help um, to engage the younger generation.